right. Ooh, right. jaws are already tight. This is crazy. This is great. Love All it. Right. You got it. You got it. <laughs> what is going on? It is go time. This is Mortal Mike, and this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. Today is one of the videos I've been looking forward to do for about two days because I've been talking to somebody really awesome about it, but I've been looking forward to the content for weeks now, and I'm glad that I'm finally hearing more about it and it's starting to come out. We are gonna talk about the demons that are in Guild the Guild, also because it's transitioning into new content that's coming out called Demon Crusades, but I figure if I'm gonna have this conversation, I have to have it from the source. Not only the source, one of the people that is basically our What's New and Watcher of Realms video content, and you probably already got an idea of who it is, probably because you read the title and you saw the thumbnail already, but it's none other than the one, the only, the exclusive leaker, Destin. What's going on, my man? How you doing? Hey, what's up? Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm really excited, honestly. Bro, I am hyped. Y'all don't understand. We talked for like 20 minutes before this, so we're trying to make this fresh, but we've been talking for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I talk to you, we get off on a tangent. We talk for like three hours and we're like, oh, easily, <laughs> easily, bro, easily. Like this is a good conversation. Two reasons, really. You are really good. Your your guild is like really good in Guild v. Guild. And I did not know that. I didn't know until I saw, I think it was you posted that you guys got like top three clan like in Guild v. Guild, which is nuts. So. Yep. And then yeah, we, we were number three. We placed right behind both of Mad. <laughs> like seriously, like that's that basically is number one. Let's just be real. <laughs> but <laughs> but like not only that, but I gave a shout out to Slate in my recent video today. I put it out, and I did not know Slate was also in your in your guild. <laughs> yeah, she's also in our guild. She actually yeah. she kind of took my video idea which i've been sitting on for a while and then i just never did it <laughs> then she did it and uh, she did it far better than i could have it's, yeah, it it's was good video. it was good because like it was a whole different voice and somebody's like relaxed in peace like peaceful like making mm. content and like making this thing make sense because while i watched that i was editing the other video of me failing against that defense and i was like okay <laughs> i gotta give credit where credit is due. this person's great and i just Press record, recorded that, and dropped it into the video. She's been doing really well. Yeah, it's fire, it's fire. Today, our conversation, we mentioned it before, let me switch this over here, because it feels like the little, I feel like I'm talking to the icon down here. <laughs> Let's switch it up, there we go. So today, I'm actually on the test server. Yes, I do have the test server, I bragged about it a whole bunch, but I finally actually am on it. If you want the proof, I'll tap a button there. I don't own all those champions, and that's the same BP for, um, for Ajax. Now, <laughs> plus that little box on the top of the screen never goes away. But um, today we wanted to go into talking about the new content that is coming into the game. Of course, this stuff looks crazy. Don't don't worry about that. That test server resources is almost non-existent because I can't beat anybody with them. But we are going to talk about two things. One, why it's important for guys for guys and gals to be doing a lot of the guild v guild content that's going on. And I wanted to also lead into talking about like the Demon Crusade. So you let me know which one you want to talk about first, or like you know because you're actually really good in guild v guild. People may not know this uh, because they just think of leaks. But bro, you're in the top three clan in the game. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm like the worst player in it, but it's, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> That's like the worst uh, Spartan. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was thinking we could do the Demon Crusade at the end because okay. I haven't actually learned that much about it. I haven't really looked at videos uh, or anything. So I would love for you to just give me like the first look. Okay, and okay. Cool. So I, I, what I'm gonna have to do, because I requested for the devs to try to put it on the test server, it's not on the test server yet. It is on Forerunner, but I can give a really good breakdown of what it is, what you should be preparing for. And of course you probably can collab a good thing on that too. So I think there's some good, some good um, back and forth to go on that, but I guess if we were going to go first, first talker is going to be talking about Guild v Guild. Let me ask you this. What do you like about Guild v Guild? Because I'm assuming that you like it a good bit too. I, you can tell oh, me. It's, I love it, it. it's <laughs> bar none my favorite game mode in the game by by far. I know it's oh. very, con that's a controversial opinion because not a lot of people like it. It's very hated. Yeah. But in yeah. my opinion, it's the only real, real end game content that actually has a skill ceiling. And a lot of it, mm. despite you do kind of need to be a whale to excel but like That's it true. is primarily more about your like your thinking your strategy 
like it's actually a skill thing instead of just like infernal codex where it's do you have a bunch of gear and do you have ardea <laughs> oh wow you beat conquer it's a, like, that's the truth though that's the abs that that's probably why i like it because it is straight puzzle solving it's straight problem solving figuring mm -hmm. out how can you make this thing work you can't have an insane budget and just pay your way through it you have to know what you're doing you can't have a level 10 demon and think they're going to just wreck shot they're still going to get shot because silas exists <laughs> but if you figure out how to deal with silas then you can do it with like low b low as hell bp and yeah it's, it's really yeah yeah let me ask you this i guess this is a good question to ask because we're talking about guild v guild um i guess i'm going to do kind of like a pop quiz as well ask you some different questions uh what is your favorite demon that you use in guild Gear? is it one that's like your go-to if you're ever playing the content like hey this is my this is my demon i have to use i'm almost always putting them in my team because they work really well with what you're doing i don't uh, that's a hard question. That's actually yeah. a really good question. Yeah. I, I'm gonna name a couple because okay. I can't just go with one. My favorite is probably the bombs. Ooh, the bombs. The, the unalives, uh, as I try to call them, so I don't get demonetized. <laughs> oh, sorry. The oh, you're boomies, good. The, the boomies. The boomies. The, <laughs> the boomies. Are boomies never say die. Yeah. Whenever you use them <laughs> and you use them well in those like really clumped together teams, it just it it, it deletes everything and it's so yeah. fun. It I is love fun. Them so much. And the damage is the damage is high too. Like the damage is high. Yeah. I so like, love the Slade show that yeah, it, it's an amazing strategy. It's been yeah. around for a while. I kind of am kicking, kicking myself. I didn't make the video like a month ago, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the most unique and interesting strategies and it's so fun. It is a bit RNG yeah. though, but it's it like is. the only way to beat some nightmare teams. That's Unless true. you have like 120,000 BP on like a Uridin, you cannot <laughs> beat those teams with those yeah. bombs. And it's ridiculous. Also with that too, like it's also tough because this isn't central keep, it's like stronghold or something like that. Like it's smaller towers or watchtowers or whatnot. It's easier yeah. to time in those. For me, I haven't gotten the timing down in the central keeps yet because it's such a much longer path that it have to take. Yep. So I'm going to do more friendly face-offs. That's going to be another topic we're talking about today. I'm going to do I'm going to do more friendly face-offs so I can figure out how to like perfect this guild v guild content. My favorite one that I have Oh, uh, it's it's interesting. It used to actually be Soulbound Archer. It used to be him. It used to be Soulbound Archer. Archer. But then people started finally putting defenders in the front instead of just even fighters out. <laughs> so I couldn't <laughs> use him anymore. He fell back on the list a little bit. Even though he even he even got nerfed and it's still insane. My favorite now mm -hmm. is actually Necromancer. My really? favorite is Necromancer because I love it more so for Century Keep than anything. Because and Central mm. Keep is a very long path they have to walk. So he has a chance to put out way more of those minions. And those minions go up all the way to the other side and they waste the ults. So it allows you to go in there without them having their ults ready. And you could do some good damage or bypass some of their blocks or get them when they're at their least strongest. Um, and it only costs you, you know, the five energy, not even the five energies, the demon that went ahead of them. I learned something else from Friendly Face Off. If I combine these guys in Central Keep, with um, Uncommon Destroyer. It's actually not bad. It's actually a pretty interesting thing, but I still want to do two Uncommon Destroyers and see if I can pull that off. But I like these guys because they they build up, they block up the block. They make it to where yeah. the block gets topped off and then you just have stuff just sneaking by and going into the end. So I do like using them. They, they replace my dogs because my dogs are my rush tactic at the very end of a match. But I like to be able to like send two targets out and it turns into like eight and they're not tanky, but they can take a hit or two and keep the keep the block count up and start getting past and killing some of the guys in the back mm -hmm. or they flood the first defender and then you go back and kill like the Zilla two or you take out the Aracha. So that's why I like these guys. Yeah. They're really good swarm units. I like yeah. them a lot too. Yeah. I don't really use them much anymore just because they're the strategies at the at the high level, they yeah. kinda die instantly. Yeah, they do. But when you yeah, get them do. to live, they're so fun. <laughs> 
And sometimes when they summon the skeletons, they'll summon them like on the sides of the map where you're not yes. supposed to be able to get units. Yes. And they'll walk right through. Walk through. Like they'll, <laughs> they'll just like sidestep everything. And it's so funny. It's just like, yeah, ooh, shortcut. That's wisdom. Years of years of life as a skeleton, as George has probably <laughs> taken experience to say, I was just going to left and right lane. <laughs> uh, the skeletons truly are the smartest demon soldiers because they're the only ones that realize that you could just walk to the left or the right of the defenders. Say, <laughs> oh, there's multiple lanes. Things, I'll do that. That's Clash gold. Royale, not Watch Your Realm. That's <laughs> facts. Was if Clash Royale was the one that had the Hog Rider? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bro, I used to play that game religiously. Bro, I used to love that game. Yeah. I enjoyed that game. That game was fun, man. I have no idea what new stuff is in that game. Now it's been. That games, might be bro. a top three biggest mobile game of all time. I think. Sheesh. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the commercials and stuff are great too. Look look at us. This is what we do, y'all. We would go in here and talk about a topic and then rant and then y'all would be sitting like, yeah, this is dope, this is cool. <laughs> this is what we literally did not plan. We just have combos and just rant. I put like a sentence in our chat and I'm like, let's talk about this. He's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just what happens. We just get sort of sidetracked all the time. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm, I'm going to try my best to get a focus. I'm going to try my best to do it. So the next thing we'll talk about then is we got to start talking about what Demon Crusades is. Now, what is Demon Crusades? In a nutshell, Demon Crusades is you are playing as the demons, but it's PVE content. So you're not just finding another guild that's out there that has a defensive setup. They actually have stages. They actually have battles with certain champions and you got to find certain ways to get through their defense. But it's not just left to right, like the main, like the smaller towers in guild and guild be guild or central keep. It's like full out maps. It's like campaign for demons. It's actually really well thought out. They have, um, if I'm not mistaken, they have, I don't know, maybe like a dozen maps. It's a bunch of maps, but you can only do a certain amount of them in a day for progression. And then the next day you go do more, the next day you go do more. This is just what I've seen from somebody like Sebastian Keynes. He's talked about it. And here's what's wild too. Mm -hmm. It's on the Forerunner server, so they can play it, but we can't play it because it's not on yeah, test server because there's no events tab. So you can't play. <laughs> I mean, you guys got codex like three months late, after it came bro. Out. <laughs> extra, extra late, extra late. It's good because those people that have played a lot of Guild v Guild or have done like the friendly takeovers, they have a good chance of knowing what these different demons do, knowing which ones are good for them, which ones aren't useful. And I mean, like when I say like it's thought out, like you have like different demons, you have like different heroes and stuff. Like I've seen like a team of like stacked out Legos as the enemies you have to go against. But the area you had to go through had barrels. And if you could destroy the barrels, it will blow up the area and kill the different enemies that were in that area. You work to the next spot. Like it's actually thought out more than just go to the right and beat a crystal. Well, first of all, the something that's exciting is it's new content. <laughs> exactly. We're lacking that's a little bit. Like exactly. new content that Look. isn't new in from the codex bosses. Yeah. So that's why I'm excited. <laughs> but also, like as you just said, it's so it's so interesting. Like Yeah, like this is the thinking man's game. But I, there's some missions where you only have a select couple of demons you have to use, and then there's some you can use all this in your inventory. So if you guys have been watching like the Guild v Guild videos I've been putting out, one of the things I've been always saying is do your gear raids one, two, and three. Find out what those demons are. Tap the little icon in the corner, like the little plus symbol. I actually can show. Oh, I can't show yet because it's part of the next part of the video. But. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um, you yeah. tap the little plus symbol, you can find out where they are so you can farm and hopefully get them. That's how I got Bookkeeper. The day I found out what Bookkeeper was, I set farms for Gear Rate 1 and got him that day. One of my favorite champions hey. in the content now. He's basically- He's really good. He's like the Unalives, but he costs more and he does his attack more often. <laughs> yeah, and he he's ranged and does magic damage so he's really really good for if you're able to kill the tank on those nightmare teams mm -hmm. what you can do is you could stack the the buff keepers they'll do like instant boomies i guess i'll say so you don't get <laughs> and then they'll kill like the arrogance in the back and like the healer or whatever yeah. or the hat or whatever and it's really really good it is fire. It is fire. I have to get better with the unalives, the boobies, as we call them. I legit might call them that in the future, the boobies. <laughs> boobies <laughs> never say die. <laughs> well, we, we can't let you get demonetized. No, can we? <laughs> That's the goal. I'm not going to get demonetized when Seferina's in this game or Seraphina's in this game. <laughs> or, or Dahlia is coming. Jeez. <laughs> 
cheese. Like it's like clothing used to be like they need gear sets to stay clothed. <laughs> Hey, clothing is just a suggestion. It's a game. suggestion. It's optional. I remember <laughs> one of the advertisements, they had the Lust video. And sometimes if you saw the video, like in the advertisement, it'd be blurred out. And the other times it wouldn't right? blur it out. I was like, what are you even doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was so funny. <laughs> So I, I want to say, why do people want to be paying more attention to Demon Crusades? Two things. One, you get better in your Gilby Guild. So you know what champions do what stuff and you know what demons are good choices to beat them. That's number one. Number two is an even bigger reason are the rewards. So there may be more, there may be more rewards as well, but these are the rewards that I know are confirmed that you can get new demons to use in Gilby Guild from Demon Crusades. So I'm going to scroll down to them here. So we have three, three new demons that are added. This one over here is called Adax Follower. You probably, this is probably like a rough model because you see it's still clipping. Like uh, this is yeah. jank, bro. Yeah, it's been bugging out the whole Def time. Definitely put the test and test server. He combos with light targets. What he does is he compares with, with numerous low cost demon soldiers to quickly eliminate durable heroes. Now, what do they mean by that? When they say getting rid of durable heroes, what they're talking about is he transforms um, allies to do true damage. When they do true damage, they do 10% true damage. So imagine you having a four pack of spiders or you know, a four pack of those little crawler ones with the big eyes. And he basically gives them a buff and they do 10% um, true damage per hit. So they can eat through tank, but they're still flimsy. They're still not tanky but they do very high damage very fast. So that's what Adax Follower does. He buffs them to do incredibly high damage very quickly if you have a big group. It's interesting to see how fast they can get the kills in. Um, interesting. Yeah. So it might actually be like a whole meta switch up. Yeah, and I will say it's gonna be even more challenging in um, the Central Keeps because it's a longer path to follow and you might be able to get more demons out there that can come in there and, you know, and, and wreck shop. So Crippling Touch, his basic attacks inflict deep cut on enemies for six seconds. Targets inflicted with deep cut will also receive true damage equal to 10% of their max HP when receiving damage from basic attacks. So that means he gives, he puts the debuff on them. Oh, well, you know, I was, thinking, I was thinking it in reverse with a different champion. He puts the debuff on the enemies and anytime they get hit, they take 10% of their max HP damage. And that's not saying that it, it doesn't remove the other damage they take from being hit also. So. It's not bad. That's interesting. And then of course- That is very interesting. His stats are attack B, HP C, defense C, magic resistance A, and speed C. So he's not amazing, but I like the fact that he can really find, you have an option to go against champ teams that are just so freaking tanky because there was no option against tanky teams. Let's be real. If they get too tanky, yeah. and you couldn't get past the, um, the targets or you didn't have Necromancer, have fun, bro. <laughs> yeah, the only ways to beat tanky teams, at least currently, before these guys get added, is essentially you either need high battle power, and then you use either axes, destroyers, mm -hmm. or like shadow keepers or whatever they're called. You know the girls. I, the I still need them. I do not have them. I know they're good too. I don't need to. Really more gear man. You can Bro, do it. I got to gear two is the one I neglect too. That's the one I, I do gear one. That's why you don't have it. That's why. And you also get it. legendary flyers who are also really good. I did <laughs> wait legend. Oh, wait the um the these flyers. guys this guy here. Yep, and then yeah. also the purple one. So I do have I do have both of them. I just don't have her. I would farm Gear Aid 2. Gear Aid 2 and Gear Aid 3 are probably the best demon soldiers. Mm, okay, okay. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show here. This is the Scalekin champ a Scalekin Warrior. Sorry, this is a um an epic Scalekin Warrior. What he does is very interesting. He boosts the speed of your demons. If there's any like any AoE effect that does like slow or something like that. He boosts them to where they don't ignore CC if I'm not mistaken. They don't ignore it, but they they get a very big boost in speed. I'm trying to see what this pace was this year. Pace here, 30. percent So excluding stuff like the dogs and stuff Whoa. that fly through already, you sent like the uncommon destroyer, for example. You sent him out and he's walking really slow to the other side in Central Keep. Um, you can send this guy out and then send somebody to support and they'll fly out there and support him because they get there in time for the fight. So mm. or I think you could use them with the boomies. <laughs> hmm. That would be interesting if you could time that bad boy right. Send them with the boomies, bro. But 
Wait, yeah. that actually might be game changing. Yeah, that's freaking nuts, bro. There, there's a really complex couple versions of a strategy where you can actually make the bomb, uh, the boomies, sorry, go all the way to the back line and they'll blow up oh everything. My gosh. Like literally all yeah. five of the units will instantly die. And uh, that might actually make it easier. So, yeah. Something to consider. I'm interested in it, I'm bro. Just, just how much do they cost for? Um, so, they cost it, for. It'll be niche. Yeah, the stats are attack B, HP B, defense C, beating resistance C, speed B. So they're really not fighters. They're really support champions. Um, mm -hmm. With a cost of four, you can send two more boom. You can send two sets of boomies with them, but you probably want to send a tank out before that entire batch or something that's very yeah, you, slow moving. You, you need something to clog the block, or exactly. like they just won't work. Yeah, so you'll have to have like game. really strong tanks or something beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is what's interesting though. The third one is a legendary, but I was like, eh, I don't know if that's a good thing. But then I thought about stuff like the boomies. Then I thought about like, you know, those champions that are frail, but do really high damage. The third one, which is a funny name, because you might recognize if you played campaign is the fool. <laughs> Because, you know, in campaign, I hate yes. him. It's the worst. I hope he, I hope he just gets removed from the game. <laughs> He's <laughs> taken back out. <laughs> so yeah, just like just, just remove him. Get, get rid of him. <laughs> so he is capable of granting shields to nearby ground allies. So it's a perfect match for demon soldiers with high HP. So if you give him shields on a tank, he's about to become freaking. There may actually be a tank that can finally survive Silas's ult. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Demon shield is auto every eight seconds. It grants ground demon soldiers a shield equal to forty percent of their max HP for six seconds. What? That's Why is plenty that so broken? That's so That's much. insane. That's insane. That's so much of a shield. Yeah. Every, sure every die, eight seconds. But, like... <laughs> but look, every eight seconds he grants them a shield for six seconds. So they're basically oh, like man. I don't want to say invincible, but if you put that on the tank, they will remain a tank. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. a lot of damage. So maybe you could like boomy everything if you do one of these guys the movement speed and then like tanks and, then and he only costs five him. he's not even expensive like he only costs five for a legendary mm. that basically makes your champions your enemy you know, the allies a sure shot to make it to the fight um, what if you put two <laughs> like <laughs> you put down two and then they i wonder so let me like, actually let me tap the video here it's already coming in front of the middle screen i wonder if he does it in groups or single or it's only like one here so he does it on one if it was a video showing us uh, multiple then it's ones, not as good as I thought, but it's still good. Yeah, I mean, but you think, I mean, I don't know, but I only see one champion, but I don't know. But that's, look how fast he's getting the shield back, though. Look at that. He got the yeah, shield. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's 80% uptime, right? Yeah. 75% uptime, sorry. That's insane. That's insane. Get, I mean, and if you think about it on tanks, it doesn't say it scales to his HP, it scales to theirs. So, which like, is, the which makes it better for tanks. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, where's the um let me just get to the, the just a general number before i even do a little more of the fool's kit i'm going to affiliate him with oh he's a lord so he gets a bonus right <laughs> so that, that number gets crazy. the lord for some reason yeah, <laughs> yeah for some reason <laughs> rest in peace to all the all the people who popped pity on ajax on <laughs> my heart goes out to you <laughs> But if you look at this guy, he has, this is me playing on a test server. So these numbers are a little hard, harder to reach for others. I get it. But he has 2.9 million HP. Yeah, you Gives can easily get two mil <laughs> on a normal account. It's, it, it, yeah. He has so much in, in, insanely high HP. Yeah, and then put a shield on him that's up 75% of the time. And it doesn't say if he still has a shield, he doesn't get a new one. You just get a brand new one. And he also does really good damage. So for those that don't know, his attack and mm -hmm. HP are S, his defense is A, his magical resistance is A, and his speed is C. You can get him right now. He's in the game. Um, but this- He's also free, or was at some point. Yeah, isn't it the training? Training guy, you can get yeah, him? Yeah, the training. He's the training reward. Yes, sir. He's really good. Uh, but yeah, going back into the fool, see attributes here. What's the other stuff he has? Fool is bravery when a demon soldier gains his shield from the fool. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> really, yeah, I did not read that before. <laughs> immune to cc oh, effects so for six seconds oh my gosh oh i feel bad for trusk <laughs> bros will think he's doing something with captain rev we would think they're doing something they just get embarrassed i did not know that well, i didn't read that part Ooh. damn that is pretty good mm. i mean yeah it's pretty it's pretty good <laughs>
It's like as we add, the more we read it, like oh, this is actually really good. <laughs> and then of course his last it's part. It's called is, uh, overtuning your hero or your yeah. your uh, demon soul. <laughs> and I also like that the speed is a C, so that means more demons are going to go past them, which is which is nice, which is useful. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let me see what the pace are on. I call them the meat cleavers, guys. Are they C? They are. If I see oh, them those here, are the axes. Those are really yeah. Good. Axe Slaughterer, yeah, and his speed is a C2, so it's gonna be the same speed. Okay, but his attack is a double S. Um, yeah, those are gonna be like the new champion, the new demons you can get by playing Demon Crusade. If you didn't know, there's other content creators that are making content, which I so love that they're showing this content, especially if they have Forerunner access. But I had to show it because I'm like, yo, know, this is the stuff that you can get right now. Well, not right now. This is the stuff that you can get soon in the game. This is some of the new content that's coming. It's actually a lot more to talk about. Um, shout out to you, Destin, because you gave a whole breakdown on a ton of stuff that's coming up, bro. You got the bro, you got the Odyssey event, bro. You got like the whole freaking collection, like, like stuff, like, come on. I'm gonna edit this out because it's gonna be hilarious because I gotta send this test service stuff to be reviewed. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, bro, like, let's be real. They haven't put out a West New and Watcher Realms video in, in months. And people That's really want to know. We yeah. Hopefully we see a new, like, West New and Watcher Realms video soon because they always are putting out more content, which I like. But giving a heads up is kind of a big thing that people need to know. And yeah. to be honest, Destiny, you're the closest thing we have right now, consistently knowing what's coming. Like, I freaking, I, I, I will say it just, to the grave and back like i love the fact that you prepared so much of the community to get lust to get that champion because a lot of people would have been upset if they knew like the weekend before hey save 200 summons or 250 summons to get this champion that revolutionizes guild guild boss <laughs> or unlocks yeah, other teams it's the type of event that you have to save for and yeah. I, I feel like there's just not always that much notice like you said so yeah. It was needed. I, I like that people in, enjoy <laughs> learning about these things. Yeah, the game does it does a pretty good job of putting out rapid content. I will give them that. It's in comparison to what I played before, waiting two years and raid for a Hydra head, haven't got one yet. But as we go back, um, <laughs> talk about that every time I talk. Bro, to you. I just spot, look look at this. Look at me, y'all. <laughs> it, bro, we've been fighting the same hit. Okay, back to watch our rounds. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even bring myself to it. I, bro, I uninstalled it. And I installed it yesterday and uninstalled it again before I first played, bro. I was I could not do it. I don't want to see the cutscene. I don't want to see the screensaver. We can't. One thing that they did well in the game was they always had what's new in Raid or what new content's coming out. And I always thought that that was a good thing. But I know that Watch of Realms is going to be doing that as well. That's why I enjoy playing the game. But what was cool was that Destiny really made a way for people to know what stuff is coming up and prepare for it and you know and get their summons ready and prepare to make content around it to bring eyeballs on it and test it in the test server because they know that it's coming now and they can ask questions about it or they can get stuff fixed in advance or if they you know like this kind of stuff is good because it allows audience to know about it sooner it allows the content creators to make stuff in advance because we're aware of it we don't just find out the day before, you know, on the test server before it goes live. So that's cool. I'm a fan that there's a way that, you know, people that play the game have a central way to know what new stuff is coming. It's, it's so mm -hmm. necessary. And it's challenging for us that, um, you know, for example, like I'm on the test server. I don't check it every single morning to see if there's a new champion added to the roster or new content yeah. that's added onto a different tab in the game. It's just something I don't do. You know, sometimes I'll pop on there and see something here and there, but it's good to say, hey, new content's being added to the game. Here's a file that's popping up. Check it out. What do you think? Like, that would get me hyped. We knew for like a month about the Dolores skin, but I can't wait for it to come. I'm looking forward to it now. <laughs> and it's coming soon, which is yeah. hype. It's going to be in like, it's out on Forerunner already and tons of people have it. Sheesh. And it's free. So yeah. I, I do also have to give props. A lot of the stuff, at least for the epics, are, are free. Yeah. And that's it's always great. And also yeah. the Odyssey of it. Uh, someone actually beat it completely the other day, Sheesh. and it gives you a free legendary at the end of it. Ooh, you heard it here, folks. If you didn't join that Discord, that told them. <laughs> that told you. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's dope because we always wondered there's an icon that's on the bottom, and we it looked like it was something nice, but we were like, we can't tell for sure. It might unlock Guild Boss too. We just don't know. But um, it, 
Nice. It looks like just a random legendary for free, but that's still oh, a, a like pretty a pack. good rule. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. I'll take it's, that it's a free Lego. I'll take that. It's, it's a third method of getting a free legendary randomly through the game, <laughs> yeah. without, like like for free. So What's the other one? Another one is beat guild boss, a guild raid, a uh, guild raid. One, two, all, three, all 18s, 19, 18. That's it. All 18s, and then all the faction wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whew. Yeah, that faction wars one is work. One day. Not two day, mm -hmm. but one day. <laughs> I'm missing like three heroes for it. And it yeah. bothers me. Every Bro, day. me when I get Valkyra, I'll finally look at the lord in this area. I'm not touching it until she arrives. It's you can beat it with Shamir and no Valkyra idea. Don't judge, don't do this to me. Don't make me build him. <laughs> it, it, a max Shamir with godlike gear can clear the whole bottom. Did you hear both things you just said? <laughs> now I'm joking. I actually I like, I, I found a way to like brag about him in the video. It was funny, somebody in the audience was like, he's not doing anything. I was like, bro, I used to put Silas here and I don't have to anymore. That is enough for me. But um, you're right, with the right gear, he does become insane. He can hold, he can like stop an entire section and run, like hold an entire area by himself in there, which is pretty nuts. Especially when he gets Awakened 1, which is nice because he adds Immobilize to his slows and those last a second. You can get his um, speed down to like 1.1, so you can get it lower than that. But 1.1 seconds, they're literally not moving. They're just sitting there taking damage. It's nice. Yeah, so nice. See, this is cool. I like doing collabs. Y'all may not have noticed this. Y'all may have noticed I love talking to more dope people in the content creator realm that make content for this game and they find ways to get people to enjoy it. Without a doubt, this dude is a beast in Gilby Gil. So if you see anything of him talking about Gilby Gil, I highly recommend you watch it as well because he's also in the top three guild in the game if i didn't say it earlier in the video i think we might have said it in our conversation i just didn't say it beforehand i don't know oh, you said it in the first two minutes i think okay okay <laughs> well just so you guys know he's in the top three <laughs> <laughs> so you know don't take that you know don't take that with a grain of salt like that's when people are paying that much attention to this game they're making really great content and i like to get out here and talk with them to find out what they think about stuff, talk about the new things that are coming. And plus, I know you guys love talking in the comments. It's like, this is the kind of stuff you want to see more of. Just people having conversations about why they enjoy the game, you know, what to look forward to. And plus, my boy then gave us a nice extra leak talking about there's a legendary at the end of the Odyssey path. That's that's fire. It's good stuff. See, yeah. now, now you know what I'm ready for now. Now I got to figure out what new horses are going to be coming to the Void Rift. I don't know what they're going to mm -hmm. have soon, but that would be interesting when that happens. I would they should have a jerry and mount. <laughs> For those who even know who Jerry is, yo, Jerry. Okay, you gotta explain the Jerry. Explain him, please. You want me to me explain though. it? Here, yes. let me. I'll also send you a picture, just kind of in the chat, so you can put it on the screen here. <laughs> okay. But. Uh, <laughs> So Jerrion, for those of you who don't know, was in the files, like we found it like two months ago or whatever, and it's a guinea pig with wings. <laughs> and it's in the actual game files. And we had no idea what it was for. And then variant gear came out. And there's, a, I think one of the rarest variant pieces, which I only know a couple of people have, has a chance to turn enemies into like an animal yeah. for like a second or two. And it turns into Jerrion if you use it on a flying enemy. <laughs> so like only like two, only like maybe 0.0001% of the player base has seen Jerrion in the game, but he's in the files. So that's Mike actually good. came on a stream once where I like I mentioned it or whatever, and he was like, "Oh, that's Jerrion." <laughs> <laughs> I just typed it up like Jerrion, like that's like, that name fits so well. <laughs> and now it's my channel banner and everything. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you guys and gals have been enjoying this content. I want you guys to do me a favor. If you haven't heard of Destin already, you're missing out. I trust you probably have. It's time to subscribe. Go to his channel. I'm going to put a link at the end of the video. I'll probably put it in the description. Also, put it up in the corner uh, there, up there in that corner. It just popped up in the corner. You should tap it. Bro, <laughs> thank you for popping in. This is the good stuff that I enjoy, like having fun talking about this game having an awesome time, connecting with dope folks. People really don't realize that like, we would sit there and talk for like hours about oh, yeah, this game. I, <laughs> like the first time we called, we talked about Raid being terrible for like a solid four hours. Like, oh I, my gosh. The first time I met you, I was like in a fast stream or something and so were you. And yeah. then we like mentioned something cause he was doing like a Raid sponsorship thing. And mm -hmm. then we were like, 
you were like, do you want to call? And then I was like, okay. And then like, four <laughs> hours later, we were just trashing on Raid the whole time. Bro, I promise you, we were there. Like, when I say this is, you got to release it, bro. You got to release the Destin cut, bro. At some point in time, I know the audio is crazy. Audio is probably bad. Audio is terrible, but. But he tried to, like, boot up and play Raid again. And the experience was so horrible. I mean, it was, it was so horrible. It wouldn't load things. Things just wouldn't pop up on the screen. Stuff was missing. If you backed out of something, you got hit with like four ads. It was- It was like, it was laggy as hell. <laughs> I pulled like 50, 50 shards. I got like three of my most wanted epics that I, I had wanted so badly for the entire year playing. And I got two legendaries. And it's just like, I don't want to play your game anymore. It's terrible. <laughs> like, leave me alone. I want to be free. <laughs> And I was just like, I need a Geo, I need a Seeker, I need like all these legendaries. There were good legendaries too. And it's just like, I pulled like three legendaries my entire time playing for like a year. And it, it, they're just like force feeding me. They're like, hey, come back. Come back, spend money now. Give them the and essentials. I, when I tell you, I, I have not laughed that long, that long and that hard for so long, bro. We were in there. Like I was, lo I was at a loss of breath. I was wheezing laughing. You ever, you ever had that laugh when you weak from laughing? I was there. Yeah. Cause you kept clicking stuff and stuff just kept failing. And that's what made it so funny. <laughs> and then like, yeah, like I tried to got free space. I tried to free space and it would lag, glitch out, and then delete all my progress of manually <laughs> clicking these stupid buttons. And wow. then like at some point you told me how much you spent in the game and I was like, Oh Mike, Jesus, Jesus, Mike, Mike. <laughs> no Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> and then, like, even on top of that, bro, I think within like a 30 minute period, you got advertised like 10 different things to buy. <laughs> it was more than 10, for sure. It was like 20. <laughs> it was, it was like every time you clicked out of the menu, you got two advertisements. It was, it was literally, yeah. it was like playing, um, how they said they were going to ruin Ready Player One, like how they're going to ruin the HUDs on that game, on that movie. Where um, they um, say they're gonna put like forty yeah. percent of the screen is gonna just be a whole bunch of buy stuff when you're playing the game. Yeah, a whole bunch it's, of stuff. it's gonna be permanent ads. That's what Raid was. <laughs> yeah. And like, it, it's like, sure, Watcher Rose gives you a lot of ads too, but that's all just when you start, and then they don't give you any until you restart the game. Yeah, but Raid just does that, but every time Gosh. you click out of a menu, bro, it's on a timer. I promise. If you leave a menu and you buy three things. Hey, you want to spend a hundred yeah. real quick? I do not. Experience. There's Prism, Soul Stone, Summon Shards now. Yeah. Um, yeah. This has been your boy, Mortal Mike. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. <laughs> As you can tell, we can go on forever, bro. What do you want to tell? What do you want to tell the folks, Destin, the folks that have been watching this content? What's what's next for Destin? What's coming up next for you, bro? Well, first of all, I have to say, make sure to sub to Mike. He definitely deserves it. And also, uh, <laughs> there should be a couple of videos out. I have like three leak videos to get out this month, um, if not more. And I'm not gonna say why they are, but they are coming. And also, Mike should be on my channel, hopefully yep. pretty soon as well. Oh, and believe me, it is necessary. It's bro. It's I, necessary. In one of his recent streams. I did my guild boss in the background and I think I did like one thing wrong. Like I switched artifacts between Dolores and Hollow and I went from mm. 35,000 damage to 7,000 damage and a wipe. I was like, what is happening? Because I pressed it on auto. I was so bad, bro. I was like, bro, I literally oh, no. just wiped Nightmare 4. What is this? So Don't I, worry, we're, we're gonna get you 50k, Mike. It's necessary. Don't worry. It must occur. It must occur. Yo, this has been your boy, Water Mike. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing time. Um, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. See ya.